Hey guys, what's up? It's Robert with Tech Refreshed, and today we have an unboxing of the new iPod Touch 5th generation. Today we are unboxing the Product Red model, which I think looks absolutely fantastic, and I am glad Apple is including colors. You'll find the iPod on its plastic tray, just like the years before. Nothing's changed there, so let's go ahead and place that off to the side. Opening up the flap, it says, designed by Apple in California, you'll find a pamphlet that comes with all Product Red models. You'll also find the instruction manual, bonjour, and hiding behind that you'll find some Apple stickers. Now with the new iPods you get the lightning connector, which really isn't that much faster. It still is USB 2.0, but it has a reversible connector, so, you know, I guess that's cool. Included with the new iPod Touch are the Apple EarPods, which is a funny name, but hopefully I can test these out and see how much better they are. They definitely look very cool and have a few more ports on them, so maybe the sound quality will be a bit better. Finally, hiding away in the back, you'll find the elastic band feeling wrist strap, which kind of makes this iPod feel like a toy. And here's the iPod in its throne. You can see how thin it is. Now the first time trying to open this, it was a bit of a struggle. Then I realized the screen's not on, it must be a sticker. So I peel off the sticker and there we go, it opened up. This iPod packs in an A6 processor, the new camera, Siri, and a new 4-inch display. So let's take a look at this iPod's hardware. On the outside you'll find a much larger 5-megapixel camera, beside is a microphone and a flash, and there's your Wi-Fi adapter. Flipping the iPod around, you'll find the strap connector, which is a nice piece of aluminum. You just push on that, it pops out, and there you go, you can attach your strap. Now through tests, I found that this doesn't even pop off that often, so I think that's very well done. Taking a look on the bottom, you'll find the new lightning connector, the headphone jack, as well as a larger speaker. On the side is your volume rockers to turn the volume up and down. And on the very top is your power switch. The display is 4 inches, and it still is the retina display, so it looks fantastic. So let's go ahead and turn it on. After a few minutes, you'll see the Apple logo, and you are ready to slide to set up your iPod. Start using the iPod Touch. So let's go ahead and look over iOS 6. You can see all the icons look almost identical, and that's a downfall with Apple, as they never update the software that often, so it looks about the same. It's a bit outdated. First, we have Siri, which I was surprised. I actually didn't even know the iPod had this, um, but when I turned it on, there it is. It works fine. In iOS 6, we also have the new Passbook, which you can purchase movie tickets, coupons, and more. I actually probably won't be using this, but it's kind of cool that it's been added. This is where iOS 6 struggles, Maps. Apple needs to perfect this, and they still had the licenses to put Google Maps on here for one more year, which I wish they did so they could get this right. iOS 6 also has this button, so you can talk into the iPod and it'll write down what you say. It also works very, very well. Lastly, let's go ahead and open camera. I'll cover this more in my review, but let's quickly go over it. This camera has a much faster shutter, so you can take many more pictures. And something I'm really dying to try out is the panorama mode. So thanks for watching the unboxing of the new iPod Touch 5th generation. If you want to see more, remember to hit the subscribe button to be notified when the review comes out. Also hit the like button, that really helps, and I'll see you guys in the next one.